Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. Guys, today is the big day. We're gonna go up and do the Polar Express. We're gonna go to Heber, which is where the train starts. It goes down a little ways. It says about 16 miles, and then it turns around and heads back to Heber. My brother is almost here, and we are so excited. Claire and Carmen and the boys are getting all in their Christmas jammies, and we have a fun little surprise for everybody. The boys are not super impressed by it, but it's fun to do, and I'm excited for you guys to see it. has her cute jammies on and she's revealing the big secret. Let me see your shirt. Cousin crew. <laughs> My sister and my sister-in-law, we all ordered these shirts for all the kids to wear. They all say cousin crew and I get it. It's a little bit kiddish, but because this is the first time we've ever done the Polar Express, I wanted it to be super fun and I'm making my kids all go back and relive their childhood and really be like little kids again. Also no one, like I said, they are not a big fan of this, but I'm gonna make them wear them at least for a picture and then they can cover it up with a sweater or whatever. But. That'll be super fun to have all the kids matching for one night. All right, we got everybody loaded up in the four-wheel drive sleigh. <laughs> We're kicking off our fun old-fashioned family Christmas by heading out into the country in the old front-wheel drive sleigh. We're headed up the canyon. Who's excited for this Polar Express ride? Me. No one? Me. I guess. sauce in the back seat. But I know you're excited. I'm way excited. I wish there was some snow to make it more authentic and maybe even some caribou. I'd really <laughs> like to see some caribou on this ride. Yeah. We were just talking about how it would be way more authentic if there was actually some snow, but instead we have 60 degree weather and it feels way more like fall than winter for sure. But, oh well, this will be lots of fun. Performers, Carm. You so excited? So excited. Oh, you can. Are you so excited? <laughs> There's the elves, Clay. I know, you I excited? know. I'm so excited. They talk to me too. They're like, hey, Clay. we're gonna sing to you. And I'm like, see, I'm bored. Okay. Don't right, lose your tickets. Yeah. Alright, I'll be first. Okay. But I don't have a ticket. You have a ticket, yeah. Hold no. up. <laughs> You're good. I'm good. No Alright. You already got you guys off. Alright, good. Carmon, welcome aboard. You got your ticket? Okay. okay. We could see him up there uh, probably just a few minutes away. Terry's getting super excited over here. <laughs> Are you nervous? I'm so nervous. Are you going to tell him what you want this year? I don't know what I want. You better get thinking about that. <laughs> it's, it's almost go time. Thank 
Where are you gonna let him do it? Oh, I guess who's right. next? Well, hello there. Brian. Hey, here he is. Hey, Thank you. Hi. Merry Christmas. Go out, go by Carmen. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas. You do. Thanks for that. Just getting back to the car off the train and it was a great time the kids all had a lot of fun there was a lot of entertainment the elves were great at keeping everybody entertained singing songs all sorts mm -hmm. of fun stuff it was cool being on a train especially that one because it's really old that's the first time i've been old. on a real train that has yeah. like seats and stuff like that other than like you know it tracks or a, whatever you call them right but an old school train that's the first time i've ever done that so it's cool it's super fun. cool we're gonna go grab some dinner really fast with everybody and we're actually eating at a restaurant called Dairy Keen that is train themed. So we're just gonna keep the train theme going this fine evening. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are just getting home from the Polar Express and guys, we had an amazing time. That was the first time we've ever done anything like that. It was super fun to be able to do that with my family and my cute little nieces and nephew. They are teeny tiny, so it makes it that much more fun. They're off getting ready for bed. We have Claire and Carmen here. Guys, train ride, first official train ride. We've been been on like, what do you call that, like the tracks in Washington, D.C.? Yeah, the metro. Yes. Been on the metro. But, this but we've a, never a real train. done like an actual train. I've seen a lot of westerns and I've always wondered what it's, what it's like to be on a real train. I wanted to like run through car to car and then <laughs> up on top as well, like jump car to car. Like, that would be cool. <laughs> that would be cool. But it was just cool to be on there. I did use, this is kind of a weird fun fact, but the restroom on there is just like an airplane. Oh really? Yeah, super tiny. Like the sink's like this big, right? <laughs> Washing your little hands. Finger after, finger after. Super tight. Wash one finger at a time. The seats were incredibly close together. So there was very not tight much quarters. room in between them. And I was just thinking, that, okay, did people used to have smaller legs back in the day because <laughs> you can't set like adults across from each other. I guess it had to just be like parents on one side and kids on the other. We tried to set like adults across from each other and it was just uncomfortable. But that did not take away from how cool it was. We had the real Santa there. This guy was legit, not an imposter. Right? I agree to disagree. You agree to disagree? <laughs> Santa's brother then? Just helping him out or what? I'm just saying it probably wasn't a real Santa because he's way too busy, especially in December. Maybe it was Santa's brother. Santa's brother? Santa. This guy was pretty fit too. He was. He was the real deal. What was your favorite part of the train ride? The hot chocolate. <laughs> the hot chocolate? <laughs> Clever? I don't know. <laughs> you didn't have one favorite part? That Evelyn came with us. Uh, Evelyn came. That is Terry's niece. She is super adorable. Claire. Just the way she talks as well. It's just super cute. So cute. Clarence is legit so cute. <laughs> yes. yes, they are cute kids. Yeah. Like I said, the little nieces and nephews that came made it so much more fun because they're just so tiny and it just makes them more fun. I wish we would have done this earlier with our kids when they were a lot younger. Not so old and kind of out of that phase, but it was still a ton of fun. Guys, we all got some Christmas bells and fun fact for you, Tara, every time a bell rings, an angel gets her wing. <laughs> so we're going to ring those bells a lot. And Seriously. another fun fact, yes. I can still hear the ringing of the Christmas bells. So that means for reals. I still believe. Wow. Impressive. Can you hear the bell? Sure, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes when the dogs when the dogs ring it to go outside, I hear it's it. It's the only bell he hears. <laughs> Guys, that was a great experience for the kiddos. It was just a train full of kids in their jammies, parents in their jammies, except <laughs> us. I don't wear my jammies outside the house. <laughs> but everybody else was wearing their jammies on the train. And just a great experience for them to get in the Christmas spirit. We appreciate you guys watching. We love you. And we'll see you guys back here tomorrow.